Now that we took a look at some of the equipment that duck hunters use, let's get into the deeper reason of why people do what they do, the Brotherhood. In fields all across the country, just like the one that I'm standing in, men and women come together with one common bond, the love of nature and outdoors. Duck hunting is a culture in its own, and I talked with a member from the Taken Boys, Joe Day, just to see what it's all about. Duck hunting, one of the oldest sports to man, dating back almost 12,000 years. Times and equipment have changed, but one thing remains the same, the camaraderie. Take them! This is a sport that can be done as an individual, but more success and fun comes from being on a team. Joe Day, member of the duck hunting group Taken Boys from Blackwell, Oklahoma, says duck hunting is more than just shooting a gun. Uh, my name is Joseph Day. I'm just a member of the Taken Boys Outfitters from Blackwell. Uh, we're just a group of guys. Uh, we all grew up right here in Blackwell. Uh, one guy's from Perry, Oklahoma, and one guy's from Ponca City. Uh, we just like to get together. We have fun. I mean, we're just always a fun group, so. When asked what brought this group together, they all had one common interest, duck hunting. The love of the sport. I mean, we all enjoy it, and uh, a group of guys get together, and you know, you all take part, you all do your part, and whether it's somebody's in the waders this week, and the next week somebody else is in waders, or somebody's bringing decoys this week, and you might all bring decoys. I mean, it takes a bunch sometimes, so. Still fresh to the duck hunting scene, Joe says what made him find an interest in the sport. Uh, duck hunting, I've only been doing it for about four years. Um, I only became part of this group a short time ago, a year ago, so being outdoors, um, it just it's all about getting outdoors and doing something that you love. I'll, I've always loved the outdoors, and so I've just taken part in what I can outside. And, uh, these guys introduced me to it, like I said, a few years back, and then I've just taken off with it. When asked what he thought about what could be making the sport more popular in recent times with shows like Duck Dynasty, Joe talks about why he thinks he sees a rise in admiration. It could be the TV shows, the guides, everything's really taken off this past like four, three, four years. I'd say this last year, I mean, I've really noticed that there's a lot more guys taking part in duck hunting and uh, just getting it, getting outdoors. I mean. You see the cameras, you see all, I mean, you see all the people gather around, you see all the decoys out in the fields as you drive by, and everybody's just loving it and having fun with it, so. It's part of like a, if you, you love the sport, I mean, you're part of a group of guys already. It's, uh, you know, you see pictures on the inter, inter, interweb, I mean, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, you see these pictures, you see the videos, you start talking to people, you know, asking what they shoot, what kind of guns they're using, what's your favorite blinds. I mean, then you start introducing yourself to new people and that by itself is a big deal. I mean, that's how you get interlocked with some people. Now, getting out to hunt with this group is no walk in the park. Joe explains all the responsibilities of each group member and what they need to do to have an accessible hunt. A daily routine. Well, first off, to get started, you know, maybe a week before we find the birds, I mean, three or four days before we go out and we scout and make sure that these birds are where they're going to be, where we need to be. We find where we can hide at. We find the best location for everything. And, you know, the night before we go and we make sure that the birds are still landing in the field. And whether it's eight miles, 10 miles, 20 miles away, I mean, we got you have to go do that or else, I mean, you could go the next morning and not see a bird. So, I mean, that's a big part in it is the scouting trip the nights before, the week before, whatever. Um, that morning of, everybody makes sure you call each other, you get everybody up because, some you know, sometimes you, you have a hard time getting up. So then you make sure everybody has what you need, what they need, what you need. Uh, whether you couldn't make it to the store that night to get shells, these guys pick them up for you. I mean, just everybody helps each other out in the whole sense. The Brotherhood goes deeper with these guys than just duck hunting forever friendships to stand the test of time. Uh, you know, throughout the week, uh, I got two guys that they wrestle up in college at Cali. Um, a guy goes to Stillwater for school. 
you know, he, that's where he's at tonight. I mean, couldn't make it. Just maybe them guys were up at they're going to uh, regionals for nationals. Um, then the you know the guy from Ponca City, we I mean, we're all we all work we all live our own lives. So you have to keep in touch and make sure everybody's in, on board. And you know sometimes you have to go off and do your own thing. And but you always check in with everybody just to make sure they're okay for the week or whether it's a couple of days later you're just checking in to say hi.